Stirrup cup, it'll put you in the pink, and all you have to do is drink, 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 drink. So all throughout October, I'm going to try to do like as many pumpkin related ones and Oktoberfest related beers I can. And I'm actually going to start off with this one right here. It's actually from one of my favorite companies for beer. It is Waybatcher Imperial Pumpkin Ale. This is the same brewing company that did has done my one of my favorite beers, actually the Blithering Idiot, which is a barley style style one that it's pretty it's pretty powerful and we'll get you. And on an empty stomach, it'll make you really kind of screwed up, but I'm not too sure about this one. This one's only an 8%. This one, from what it says on the bottle here, ale brewed with pumpkin and spices, which include cinnamon, nutmeg, kariman, and cloves. So this one seems to be pretty good. I can't wait to try it. Like I said, this is one of my favorite breweries, you know, for like their craft beers and, uh, not much else on the uh, bottle except for that stuff, uh, except for a pump. Oh, that's actually kind of funny and kind of frightening in a way. That if you see here on the bottle, it has like the great pumpkin with a scepter and a crown. So this is pretty uh, hardcore right now. Oh yeah, it also has like a little gesture on top there, which I expect from Wave Atcher. So enough talk. Let's go crack this open and see how it tastes. I'll tell you right now, I'm smelling all the aromas from it already. That is a good looking color right there. Very ambery, very, a little bit of, yeah, it's definitely an amber color. As you can see there, in the light, very nice. Ooh. The first sniff, I actually do smell a lot of that cinnamon in there. Very first sniff, you actually smell a lot more cinnamon than you did there. A lot of cinnamon in there, and a little bit of nutmeg too. Get the aromas going a little bit more before I... Ooh, there's the rest of them. Oh yeah, that's nice. Just a nice color, nice, uh, nice aroma. Very little head to it though. That's okay though. That's what I expect from a pumpkin ale. So here we go. The spices hit you a little bit more than the pumpkin, I think. But. Hmm. Yeah, definitely the spices hit you a lot more than a pumpkin does in this, but it is a very nice brew. It's just what I expect from, from them, you know, that's guaranteed, guaranteed a good brew. Like if, I'm definitely going to give this one probably like a 9 out of 10. Just because I love, like I love the color, I love the, I love the, like the, um, the aromas to it, I love the, uh, love the spices in it. Very nice, uh, just a nice brew. Just, you know, it's a good one to enjoy, you know, on like a nice October fall day. Not down here in Virginia, you know, and if you're looking outside and you kind of see a little bit of foliage, which not around here, but you know, back up where I'm, back up north where I'm from, the colors and stuff, you know, just enjoy one of these on like a, on there, getting yourself like a little 
a little fire going, you know, from the fire pit. Definitely that's something to, to enjoy while having something like this. But now this is a very nice brew, very crisp, clean look to it. Very nice and very, it's very generous too. And for this review, I have to give the official shout out. This is a shout out of the, of the review. I want to give one out to my good friend, uh, Joe Bracco, back home in Connecticut. So buddy, I'm toasting it to you. If you want to get toasted, leave a comment below. I will, I'll see who, uh, who comments, anybody wants to comment, you know, if you can comment, then maybe I'll just, uh, give a shout out from all my friends on Facebook, you know, if you, you can always do that, so. <laughs> but anyway, yes, the shout out of the review is for Joe. Joe, enjoy some, uh, nice Oktoberfest beers uh, before me, but that's okay. And, uh, definitely recommend this one, so if you ever get a chance, do check out Waybatcher, Waybatcher Imperial Pumpkin Ale. Very nice one. Love the spices, love the uh, aromas, just a nice one. And so, keeping it kind of uh, short for this one, I guess. Uh, don't really have that much to say about it. Hopefully, I was kind of hoping that there'd be like, you know, something like a little, a little more in the bottle, but it's just not, but that's okay. There should be on the next one. But until then, good beer, good night. And uh, if you like this one, give a comment, like, subscribe, all that jazz. I'll get more in the future. And thank you and cheers. Hey, listen, now we won't dance all shade, run a big devil.